Sim Lane Sets Delicacy here with part, I think, part 44 of Let's Play The Sims 4, which these numbers are getting high. We're almost at 50, which is pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure I say this in like every LP, but anyways, the Valentines and Wilkins have had a lovely family holiday here uh, with this beautiful view. It's so pretty and they're still sleeping in their tents, but we're going to send some of the family members home today. Um, because they need to get back to work and whatnot, and I was thinking maybe the kids can stay for a little while to invite some of their friends round uh, to extend the trip a little bit. There's a, like a motorbike going past my house. What? <laughs> oh, Cody. Use that toilet. <laughs> Pee like you've never peed before. What is that sound? That was really weird music. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but that was like intense. <laughs> um, so we're gonna we're gonna keep Caitlyn rough here, definitely. Um, and Carter did hook up with Caitlyn when he has a girlfriend who is going to be coming to the campsite, uh, like to Mozzle or to Dazel, probably. So that's gonna be interesting. That was actually uh, Simley's idea, uh, or a few of you were saying actually to keep them here, so. Um, uh, to keep the kids here, that is. Oh my gosh, what is with these birthday cakes? I swear they always disappear and just go, go, and what? The sink's gone. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know anymore. Just going to pop those over here. What of it? All right, so we're going to send some Sims home. Let's change the outfit um, to every day, Cody. And Desiree can hang out a little bit. Ask about woohoo. Just complain about her problems for a second before she uses that toilet. And uh, what else is in here? Oh, there's like nothing in the fridge. She can cook something up. No. Can't she grill something? Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe she can have a baked potato because I haven't actually seen that yet. Uh, so, Cody, who's wanting to read Wilderness Digest. I'm actually going to send you home, Cody. Um, send home... Trinity, let's get you up and we're going to send you home as well in a second. Uh, yep, that's going to end his va his vacay. Send home Trinity in, t in her pink nightgown. Uh, okay, and I mean Liberty's going to look after the kids here because she's an adult now, so these guys can head on home. Send home, he can eat at home. And Xavier... Why are you sleeping in here in a single bed and not with your handsome man? Let's just see his tummy. I love his tummy. Oh, he's got a bit of a bum now. Such a cool cat. Let's send you home. Okay. So now it's just the kitty winkles, really. Yeah, she's off. She's off. Liberty Valentine is feeling flirty and that's from her romantic trait. Sometimes I feel like there is sexual tension between these two. There, I know some of you guys will be like, that's gross because they're cousins. But Liberty was adopted, so there, there is actually nothing ancestral about that, uh, technically. It's just probably the thought that would gross a lot of people out. Okay, let's just take a shower, and then she's going to invite uh, her BF. Uh-oh, wait, wait. Resume Franks and Beans. Um, because she's hungry. She doesn't need to go to the toilet. Why'd she just plop in there? It looked like green stuff. She's so pretty. <laughs> she's wearing a nice dress today because she probably knows that her boyfriend's coming. Okay, Carter. What's he making? What's that? Scrambled eggs? It's funny that they've all had separate meals. <laughs> That looks good. How awesome are baked potatoes? I totally forgot about them. Let's just have uh, tell a joke about Sunset Valley. Maybe describe describe a new I, a new idea. Gosh, I can't talk. Brother and sister. Cute. She's like, I know what you got up to. With my friends. He's like, who? Maybe. Maybe I did get it on in the tent. Talk about dreams. I think this is like... What is... 
Is this like Woodlands? <laughs> Woodlands tracks or something? Woodland music? I don't even know. Oh, it's so intense. We really need to change change the station. Uh, to alternatives, fine. Cool. They're enjoying enjoying a bit of breakfast. It's nice. Carter's probably thinking, Liberty, why do you look so nice? <laughs> He's such a hottie. Change outfit every day. Was it five or one? I think it was one. He's... Oh no, it was five. Okay, let's get him to... Ew! Gross Liberty. She just fought it. Um... So let's invite Taylor. Invite to join vacation. And Desiree, I did have a boy for her, but she doesn't know him yet, so we're gonna have to wait until she gets back. Uh, before we can, I was about to say back to Sunset Valley before she can see him. Oh, Alexander Goth and her are so close. He's a little bit young. Who else can we invite that she knows? I know anyone. Oh well. She can get to know the other's friends. We could invite Sandy on vacation. Or oh, Nicholas. Wait, Liberty. Oh, there's Taylor. Try to calm down. What's Taylor's problem? Oh my gosh, she knows. She knows. And she's like, oh, such a jerk. Oh, did you see that look? Oh, she is fuming. Oh my gosh, Carter, you are being told. He's like, uh-oh. Chat with Taylor. Can he like... She is so angry. I swear she knows. Yeah, she doesn't like him. Break up. Oh my gosh. Mean. We don't want to be mean to her. Give her the cold shoulder. Maybe try and give her a hug. I didn't realize she would know. I mean, his relationship with her is still quite good. <laughs> Meanwhile, Liberty is just boogieing down. <laughs> oh, it's too good. Anyway, let's get Desmond around. And uh, Nicholas, because Nicholas is always around. And you know what? Let's get a... Uh, let's get Miles. Let's get Desiree and Miles together, because I don't think he's aged up yet, has he? How do we know? I don't know. I don't think we can tell until they're actually here and it says if they're a teen or not. Alright, where's our boy? There's Nicholas Flamel! I can see him running towards us in the distance. Oh. Suave kiss. We do love Desmond. I, I I think they're a good couple. <laughs> Nicholas is always wanting to be part of the group. He looks like he's fuming as well. I mean, I don't know why. Or does he just have an angry look about him? Oh, <laughs> So cute. Kiss hands. Try to calm down. Like, I don't understand why they're so angry at us. He's like, oh, I feel better now. Deep conversation? I don't... Desmond, what is... Oh, wait, Desmond isn't even our boyfriend yet. He's, we're just sweethearts. Oh, my gosh. I totally thought he was our boyfriend. What was I thinking? I think she's going to ask him to be a boyfriend. I mean, look how high their, their flirtation ship is. Oh, there's Miles. Let's get Desiree to friendly introduction. Introduce herself. Is he a teen? No, he's a young adult, so we can't flirt with him. She's like, Taylor is like crazy. What happened to Caitlin Ruff, by the way? She conveniently bailed at the right time. I think Carter's the type of guy to be like... Come cloud gaze with me. I didn't do anything wrong when really like her jackass. 
It's a pretty good group they've got going on here. I like it. We get a nice photo of them hanging out by the fire. <laughs> he made a chicken jerk. <laughs> Just hanging out. <laughs> Share creative ideas, that sounds good. Because she's inspired from cloud gazing. Look at these two. Taylor's very pretty. Like, she does, she is kind of like a younger Trinity in many ways. They say that sometimes you go for people like your. Similar to your parents. I reckon we should uh, invite. Mm, let's go with Desmond somewhere. Like, let's. I don't know, maybe we can go exploring with Desmond a little bit. Because he's, like, go to the forest or something. Miles is such a tool. Like, he just makes fun of everyone, I swear. Aw, oh, look at these two lovebirds. Flatter. We're still gonna get together. Maybe who's gonna date? Whoa! Did you see Desiree then? She like flew back to her chair. I swear. Woo! Date time with Liberty and Miles. Let's go over here to the forest. I love the music, it's so relaxing. All right, so when they're over here in the forest, maybe we should go looking for things or go fishing. We wanna go, actually, you know what? We wanna go to a romantic, a romantic place. Um, to ask him to be our boyfriend, like near the waterfall or something. I swear there's a waterfall. Yes, 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 over here. I think he'll come with us, right? Can't we just walk here? Okay, fine, we'll go fishing and you can come along with us, Desmond. Only four hours left on this vacation. You might want to start packing up and saying goodbye. But we wanna, we wanna, we wanna stay. We wanna stay. I'm assuming he comes with us, but I always get confused. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> like, I really, I really want. So often in The Sims 4. Like you want their you want the Sims to follow them and they really should, like they're on a date, so I don't understand why they wouldn't follow each other around. Yeah, I'd be fine too if Desmond didn't follow us here. Like where is he? That's so annoying. I just wanted to go on a nice date and ask you to be my boyfriend, Desmond. This is Liberty talking, obviously, not me. But Oh, it's so annoying. Well, I mean, she does look nice, fishing in a summery dress. Ah, the serenity. <laughs> Alright, Desmond, seriously, where did you go? Did you get, like, eaten by a bear or something? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, is he in here? I've lost our future boyfriend. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, express admiration. <laughs> I'm so glad we found him. <laughs> All right. Let's maybe just go somewhere nearby where she can call him over. Just outside here. Oh, go here together. Okay, cool. Go here together. I still think, though, that they should follow each other automatically when they're first out on a date. Look at them running together, so cute. Desmond's attractive. I think so anyway. They would have really nice babies. They're a bit young for that though. All right, let's offer a massage. 
creepy bear. Stevie? <laughs> Stevie? Turn around. <laughs> oh, how romantical with the bear there. <laughs> Aww. Let's go for a passionate kiss. <laughs> they that lady totally walked into them. That would be very awkward. Bumping into people, passionately kissing. Let's ask to be our boyfriend! She looks nervous. Yay! Oh, made a Facebook official! So cute! Propose! Not yet. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Let's watch Liberty be enticing. She learned that from Trinity, that's sure. Liberty's really grown up to a young to be a young woman that really knows what she wants, I feel like. I wanna kiss him more. Kiss, there we go. Like a really nice photo. Ooh, ooh, wait. Hold that. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, he's so attractive. Their, their flirtation is like through the roof right now. There, get away from us. <laughs> that was funny. They should just get to know each other a little bit better though, I think. Sit and talk to your date. Yeah, maybe we should sit down and talk. How are our needs? Her needs are really good. Uh, let's see, where have those tables gone? Uh, we're going to extend the vacation just by one day, I think. Um, so they can stay out with their friends and have a nice time. Where is the picnic tables over here? <laughs> Ooh! How old are you? Teen? Damn it. Danny McAdams. He looks like a Desiree type of guy. Let's get... We should get Desiree here. Let's just bring her here to talk to him. Uh, Alright, let's sit together. And we'll get Desiree to warm up to Danny. You never know. You never know what might happen if she aged up later down the track. But it just looks like her kind of person, even if they're just friends. Well, they're cloud gazing together. Oh. I just feel like they're kind of perfect for each other. She did have to go on a couple of crappy dates with uh, Miles, but you know. How's to hang out? <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure. And threw back guitar solos. It'd be fun if she brought Danny McAdams over, because Trinity would be so not into that. <laughs> Tell a joke about ducks. He's good, and he's a music lover, just like her. It's an engaging story. Are you sitting together yet? Oh, they're about to. He's like, oh, it's so beautiful here. And hot damn, I have a hot girlfriend. <laughs> One lucky man you are, Desmond, to have our liberty. What's she doing? Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna grab a granola. It's cool. Liberty, feeling very flirtatious, indeed. She's like, who's that kid? <laughs> she looks so happy. Oh, she got a bronze medal for that date. Oh, is he gonna come sit with us? Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Is Danny gonna sit with us? It'd be cute if he had granola with us. Oh, nice. 
I just keep talking. Mock music taste. Nah, it enthuse about new albums. Um, ask about Woohoo, maybe? And maybe. Who's <laughs> about guitar solos? She likes him. She's into an older guy. Oh, she seems a bit unsure though now. She's like, oh no, I've crushed. Crushed on an older guy who will what? never, like, never be interested in me. I wouldn't be so sure about that, though, Desiree. Uh, yeah. Won't we get, won't we? Uh -huh. Oh, she's just using the toilet. Uh, we should really get a, we should get some food for Liberty and Desmond, but Desmond's kind of disappeared. We might just get Liberty to go back to the lodging. <laughs> Desiree's making a new friend. That's good. Danny. They're, actually, their friendship bar's gone up pretty quickly. Hug. Cody's off to work. Good man. Ashton brought home some monies. Good stuff. Tell gross joke. I feel like maybe Desiree, when she's a bit older and she doesn't have coloured hair, she might go for the bleach blonde look. Like, but still wear a lot of black. I think that would suit her really well. Group activities. Tell a group story. Uh, let's maybe tell an adventure story to Danny. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, in the next part, we'll uh, let me know what you want to happen with these guys uh, back. If we actually go back to the campsite. Let me know what you guys think should happen at the campsite. They're only here for a day and maybe another night. So not too long, but I don't know. Should Carter break up with Taylor or should he stay with Taylor? Should he end up with Caitlin Ruff? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me know, because there could be a lot going down uh, with the Wilkins and Valentines here at the campsite, that's for sure. Everyone seems to be asleep. Someone seems to be crying, though. Uh, wake up. Whoops, I didn't mean to wake them up. Where are the girls? Where did the girls go? The girls must be having girl time, girl camping time, because they've bailed. Oh, Nicholas Flamel. We love Nicholas. Come on, Liberty, spend time with Nicholas. Roast some marshmallows, and then you can go to bed. <laughs> Cute. They are best friends. Love these two. Oh, Nicholas. <laughs> Anyway guys, hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.